Hey everyone, so I'm back for about the third time today. Uh, but it's a very important message or quick tidbit that I think we all need. And basically, what do you do when God, where God has you in your life right now, is not where you want to be? And a lot of us are struggling with this because God has us in a season where he's assigned us to a certain place and it's not where we want to be. I know me for a fact right now. Um, I'm partially halfway sort of where I want to be, but then I'm really not. And there are days where I'm like, Lord, why do you have me here? Like, I understand you have a plan and I know you have it under control, but what are you doing? Because this is not where I saw myself being and this is not a place where I would want to be in my life. And, you know, God is like, that's fine. It's not about where you want to be. It's about where I've called you to be. So the question then is, since God is sovereign and he's not going to change his will to fit our comfort, that's one thing we have to understand. You can pray all day long. Ultimately, God is not going to change his plan for your life according to your comfort. So then what do you do? You change and you submit yourself to the will of God. You get the right perspective and you say, you know what? God knows more than I do. And he's been God for a really long time. And I don't think that he needs my help. So if God has put me here in this season or in this place, or he's assigned me to this specific area, then there's a reason. A lot of times we don't understand in the, you know, while we're in it, we'll, we see it once we get out, but we don't understand while we're in it that where God has assigned us is for a reason. Every season in your life is intentional and serves a purpose. So if God has you in a season of suffering right now, then you're going to have to adjust your perspective and say, you know, this really hurts and I don't like it and I don't want to be going through this. But God must have a reason because he's trying to build us up. Oftentimes he's trying to instill in us whatever it is that we actually need to be able to go into our purpose or to walk into our purpose or our destiny. And we're so busy complaining about the training process that we don't understand that God is just trying to get us ready for the things that we've been praying for. And the things that he has for us. So if God has you in a place right now that you don't want to be, you're going to have to adjust your perspective. You're going to have to submit and say, God, I don't like it. And it doesn't feel good. But if you have me here, then it's got to be for a reason. I know a lot of times I find myself saying, Lord, what? Like, how did I end up here? I had a completely different plan. Um, in fact, I thought that I had put my life in such an order that I would not have to be here. And God was just like, I know you did, but that's not where I had you. I have a reason for you being here. I have a reason for this suffering. I have a reason for these trials. Uh, God knows what we need. We don't. He knows our beginning from our end. So he knows what, what you know, he knows how high to turn up the temperature. Um, he knows how long to let us cook. He knows what season will produce fruit and what seasons will not. He knows, you know, where to assign us. And so when we get put in certain situations and we find ourselves in certain seasons, we have to ask God, what are you trying to teach me here? And we've got to learn how to stand still and endure in the season that we're in. Because if you run from where God has placed you, then you're actually running from your preparation. So many times we get in situations and we're mad at God and we're like, God, why would you put me here? And God is like, I'm trying to get you ready. You've been praying for some things and believing for some things, but you don't necessarily have everything that you need to be able to handle that. So I'm trying to prepare you and you're complaining about it and you're running from it. And I know God has me in a place right now that I am not necessarily happy about. And every day I have to get up and I have to purposely and intentionally make myself say, God, this is not where I want to be, but it's obviously where you need me to be. And there's something that I need to learn here. So I'm just going to hunker down and I'm going to make the best of it because I know that I ultimately want to get wherever it is that God has for me. And that means I'm going to have to submit my will and my plan under his because the Bible says, man, many are the plans of, of man, but God's will ultimately prevail. So you can waste time trying to plan your life or trying to run from the season that you're in, but you're just going to end up right back there until you pass that test. So anytime, it could be a job. Like I'm the job that I'm at right now, I love, but at the same time, I feel like there's something more for me. And God is like, you're right, but right now, in this season, I have you here for a reason. This is your training. This is your boot camp. This is your preparation. And so I know that you feel like you want more. And I know that you feel like you there's more to your life. And you're right. 
but the things that you're going to need, the characteristics and the endurance that you're going to need in your next season is what God is training you on right now. And so if you're wanting to get where it is God has for you to be, you're going to have to learn how to stand still where you are right now. And, and it might not be to your liking, and that's okay. God is not concerned about you being happy. God is not concerned about you being comfortable with where he has you. He's concerned about you learning what you need to learn so that you can ultimately get where it is that he has for you to go. And if you want to get to that place, you're going to have to be faithful where you're at right now. You're going to have to stand still in it and say, God, even though I don't like it, I'm going to trust you with where I'm at and I'm going to make the best of it and I'm going to do it right and I'm going to get up every day and I'm going to go to work and I'm going to, you know, not complain and moan and groan. I'm going to think, how can I do my job better? What can I do in this season, Lord, to learn what it is that you have for me to learn? And it's the hardest thing in the world to do. I know that it is, but it's what we have to do. So what do you do? When where God puts you is not where you want to be, you stand still in it. You endure, you pray through it, you pick up and learn what you're supposed to learn, and then God will move you to wherever it is he has for you to be.